Yes, sir. We are about to get to work. See, I'm starting the ball off with a two ball dribbling. Going right, left, using that line. Right, left, right, left, right, left. I believe I did five each way. Five right, left. Then I switch side. Or ten or right, left. Switch sides. Now I'm going to go uh, left, right on my footwork. See what I'm saying? Watching left, right, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just a good way to get activated, get your body rolling. Get your body woke up. Pounding that basketball, finding that groove. You know, getting activated. I guess the basketball bouncing too loud. Put his hands over here. So now I'm front and back. Leave him going 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I did 20. Might have did 20. Same thing. Now I'm going side to side. Let's count right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, sir, it is. 20 times. Oh, got to move that apple juice up out the way. Apple sauce up out the way. I don't want to splash it everywhere. Now I go one leg. I believe I go 10 times. 10 times. Having both balls at the same time. Finding that coordination. Staying on the balls of your feet. Getting active. Great way to get it going. He love watching. Just want to get after him. Do the same thing side to side. Make sure we pounding that ball. Look, he ready. Oh, oh yeah. Soon, young fella, your time is coming. Same thing opposite side. Uh, doing it with that left foot. Back to back. From feet, you know. Should be getting activated. Sometimes your calf muscles get the burning. He wants some love. Daddy got to give him love. Best feeling in the world right here. Daddy gonna give him some kisses. And now daddy gotta get to roll. He don't wanna let me go. You got kids. You got space to get them in the gym with you. Do it as much as possible. It's the best way for them to learn. So I just improvised. I did two ball down. And I did alternate two balls. Let him get some of that work in. Oh, he want to dribble too. Two feet in, two feet out. Using that line. Two feet on the line. Two feet off the line. Still working on that coordination and getting active. Great for footwork. Great for ball handling. Really total body work. Get your whole blood flowing. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going two ball pounds. Everything I'm doing, I'm going free throw line and back. Then medium pounds, medium pounds about at your knees. Now we alternating the same thing. Pop, 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 pop. Finding that flow, free throw line and back. Still getting activated with this ball handling. It's a pretty good workout. While y'all here, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Like the video, share the video with somebody that, that needs it. You can see I'm going side to side, getting these hips activated. Oh, that's going to want to be a better basketball player. This is the place to be. He got his own little basketball ready to shoot. Now I'm alternating, getting them hips activated. You can do the same exercise with a band on your, around your ankles and a band around like a, uh, above your knees on your thigh area. I'll do a video on that as well. Like I say though, we here, we working. You want to be a better basketball player, that's the place to be. Now we rotating them. Huh? Rotating them. We're finding that groove. Now we're going backwards. Do the same thing, rotating the opposite way. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Rotating the opposite way. The left hand is dominating the pounds. Pound, pound, pound. Get it going. Get it rolling. Oh, yeah. We spent some good old time on ball handling. Reverse. Pound, pound, pound. Find that groove. Now, when we on right here, we crossing over. One time right over left. The next time we going left over right. Same thing we do to the front, we do going backwards. Mm -hmm. So 
concerned, just dropping the ball off, leaving it in my way. But we still working, we still rolling with it. Be solid with the work. Find you a good routine, keep rolling. That's a routine you can follow. See the between the legs, oh. Oh, got a defender on me now. Defense ain't gonna stop me. Now I'm reversing it. Guess he want me to pick him up, or he want the ball. You know, daddy working though. So now we're going behind the back one time, left over. Left in the front one time, right in the front. Two different basketballs, so it's kind of a little bit more challenging. I really like doing my ball handling and my layups. My floaters with my heavy ball, my heavy basketball. Makes it way easier when you get your regular basketball. Makes you stronger in your hands, stronger form, stronger. Helps you finish the basketball better. Gives you that discipline that you need to become a better basketball player. Get that reverse twin the legs. You see I'm rolling with it. Rolling with it. Finding the groove. Now we got low taps. Oh, tap, 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 tap. That's what I be telling myself in my head while I count. Low taps, here come honor. I think I did 100 of them. Finding that groove. 50 of them, I might did 50. So now we one dribble, putting that ball in the chair, finishing up in that hop, the top uh, tier of high, catch the ball, one dribble, right, left, finishing up high, getting over them taller defenders. Finding that groove, boom, boom. I believe I did five. Made five to the right, five to the left. On each uh, elbow of the free throw line, or well, I made a main three. And that's one. One pound, one, two, two. Make sure you get it up high. Like to finish with both our hands. Same thing three times. So we did make three, not five. Now we do opposite elbow. Same thing, put it in the chair, catch it. Um, one dribble, one, two. Finishing it. That left hand. Mm. Now we switching sides, same thing, right hand. These are tough angles, but I guarantee you this helps you finish the basketball better. If you miss it, get your stuff back together. Get that next rep, find it. Get that shot up. Get right with it. Try to be as consistent as possible. Getting that same spot. Getting that good footwork. Uh, now we taking that kind of like a pound dribble, in and out dribble. Stepping that left foot, right foot. Getting it off that right foot, that right hand one, two. And same thing, finishing with that left hand. Uh, one, two. Oh, well, my bad. Finishing with that left hand off that right foot. So finishes, flow to finishing, getting it up. Uh, one, two. Right hand, left foot. Coming down, transition. This is what prepares you. Transition, all you get by your defender, you attacking the nigga defender. Getting that floater up. Uh, one, two. So, uh, right hand again. I'm pretty sure. Uh, one. Two. Ah. Make it look nice. Now we're just taking that basic in and out, stepping to the left. One dribble pull up. Finding that groove. Now working on these perimeter moves. Just one move. One, two. I typically throw a counter in with that, so I don't believe I did this day. I just did in and out. Find that pull up. We're gonna make five each side. It's to find your rhythm. Nothing like shooting by yourself in the gym. Hold yourself accountable running to go get the rebounds. And every shot becomes important. Every shot should always be important no matter what. But when you got to go chase down the basketball when you're missing shots. Totally different. Good in and out. Get that defender to lead the opposite way. Cashing in. Finding that good groove. You know, I prefer to typically get like a little jog, trot back. You wanna walk, I mean, that's on you. 
but I like to keep that blood flowing, keep that heart rate up a little bit. Boom. <clears throat> That's what I tell myself. Cash in, bang. Uh, wherever I'm at, I typically do the same move to the right, to the left. But a lot of times I do the same move in five to seven spots. It just depends on, you know, the time frame I have to work, get in and use the gym. You know, but I at least try to make five shots so the same move every time. Like, I really like practicing the same move over and over and over again. So from different spots. In and out, boom. Shall I say now I'm stepping right, left. On the other side, we step left, right. This side, we stepping right, left. Huh? One, two. Right, left. Just stopping, taking that elbow, pulling up. Finding that groove, finding that rhythm, repetition. There's the father of learning. Huh? One, two. Had to give y'all this video, man. I've been having this video for a while. Phone storage was terrible, or my phone was acting up, but I finally got it taken care of, taken care of. So now I'm able to, you know, go back to recording long videos, <clears throat> and I'll be dropping, uh, you know, just the basketball version of where y'all just hearing the ball bouncing. I'll be having some when I'll be mic'd up, and I'll be talking over it. And I'll be having some when I do a voiceover like this. Now, this is just basic quick moves. I flow different on uh, three of them. I went one way. So this one, I floated without the dribble. I believe I made five. On this next one, I floated with the dribble. You know, so pound between, pound between. And took the extra pound to that left, right, pound, left, right. On this next one, you know, I'm going to take uh, between the legs, pound between. I'm not going to take that last pound dribble. Just gonna float into the jump shot, pound between pound, see left, right, float. Neither one is a travel. You know, people be on my page talking about I'm traveling. You know, you really gotta know the rules and understand the game and really understand the full work of the game. Uh, right, left. Uh, either way, to me, it don't matter. Keep commenting. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother me. I'm going opposite between, between staying low, right, left on that pull up. Doing the same thing, even when I remove the dribble, I'm gonna float into my right left. So just keep it rolling, keep it going, pound, pound, float. Now I got that right left. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. Like I said, we like to do five, five. Mm -hmm. I got 25 minute workout here. I did five each way. You know, same move, five each way. You know, 10 makes. I believe I did three spots. I should have made it five, because I might get corners. Two corner moves, but I believe I want to just catch and shoot three after that. Now I'm just working right here. Uh, I'm working that screen, getting back on the inside, snaking it, working that pull up jumper, finding that flow. I believe I'm at five, just snaking it. Uh, mm, cutting back, getting that pull up. That was off the hop step there. It was like, watch yourself and like evaluate it. What's work, just working on the screen, on uh, spin move, uh, side step, right left, off that glass, find a groove. Basically, just all snakes making these five. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Behind the back, oh, uh, pull up, that's nice. Like, I like that one. I'm finding that groove. Typically, after you finish, you know, say those, those sets, the set might be the right and left. Set for you might be just there doing the right side on cash in. You can make a, you know, three free throws in a row, five free throws in a row, you know, just to get that game like situation and groove. But I'm, I'm coming back uh, opposite side, as you know, my son in the background talking. Snaking the opposite side, oh, cashing in. More like a, you know, rejecting the screen on this one, if you want to say it. But oh, all this screen coming opposite side. Screen getting set to baseline. Oh, I could have kept going with that. Cause sometimes that might not get called. Oh, wrap, uh, spin, reverse tweet. Oh, lean on them. I get off that rim. A lot of times I don't count shots that hit that rim. That is very important. Sometimes, most times, I I like my makes a certain type of way. You know, if it don't come out the rim right, if it don't come out the net right, it don't count. If it don't come out my hand right, it don't count. So that's part of, you know, challenging yourself as well. 
as being a good basketball player. Oh, inverted dribble, right behind. Oh, twin cross, right behind. Hopping to the two feet, just having different rhythms. Now I'm doing form uh, chair form shooting. I actually should have did this before I even started my shooting, which I typically do. I believe I made 10 to 15 each spot, seven spots, but I may have made a little bit more. I mean, I really don't recall, but you see my son, you see how leading by example always has effect on people, whether you know it or not. I'm doing my form shooting now. He's over there doing his form shooting, finding it. I like doing it in the chair. Makes you use more of your arms. Takes your legs out of it. Helps you focus. Typically, I'll be doing this. I'll be shooting number net. I'll be shooting number net on these. Just being solid with it. Keeping that solid focus. Don't block it out. Don't block the fact out that you might miss a few shots. Of course, we want to be perfect. Now I'm doing this off glass. I always find it off glass. Got to use that backboard, that Timmy Duncan, that Timmy D, that Kobe B. LeBron be on it too. I just call it the old school primetime basketball. A lot of people don't like using the backboard, but I believe the backboard is our friend. Like the out-of-bounds lines on defense, it helps us out. Just find it. Look at that beautiful form. Form shooting is something you have to do. You want to be a prime-time shooter. You want to be an elite shooter. You have to do form shooting. Like, it's a must. I don't know any elite basketball player that doesn't start off with the basics on form shooting that has a great shot. I mean, it's unheard of. And if they do, I mean, it's very rare. While we're here, make sure you subscribe. You made it this far. Appreciate you. You are a dedicated subscriber. Oh, now we're shooting these free throws. Hey, I believe how many I made. Typically made, uh, what I typically make 25 after I make, uh, 25 to 30 after I make my 10 to 15 form shots. So it's either 70 form shots or 105. 105 will be 15 from seven spots. Uh, 70 will be 10 from seven spots. You know, typically if I make 70 form shots, I make 30 free, uh, free throws. So it can be 100 shots already before I even ultimately start the work. You know, if I make 100 and, uh, and five, typically do 25 free throws. You know, so that's 130 shots before I even get started. Free throws are very important, finding your groove. Uh, some people call these form shots too, but one of the best ways you can work on your shot as well is finding your, your rhythm. I believe a good free throw shooter is a good shooter. You know, you're shooting above 80% from the free throw line, 85%. You're shooting 80% from the free throw line, you can fairly shoot the ball good. You're shooting 85 to 90% from the free throw line, you can shoot the ball at a above average rate. You know, so take, take advantage of shooting these free throws and locking in and blocking out the noise, even if there's no noise. Embrace the noise at the same time, though. You know, understand how to control it. Now, right here, I believe I did seven spots. Seven spots, I made three shots from each spot. I made uh, one time I had to be feet flat, but still jumping off two feet. One time I go right, left, throw the ball to myself. Uh, the other time I do uh, left, right. So you see, I did what left, right on this shot. Boom, come back. What I do this time, right, left. Mm. Then this next one I'm gonna do um, both feet on the ground, still jumping up. Mm. Like I said, I do seven spots. Seven spots. And after I do this seven spots, I believe I got at the gym. And on those form shootings, I believe I did do my form shooting first, but I, I don't know. Somehow, I think I put them out of order. So I typically do my form shoot and my free throws before I do any shooting. Shall I say, I typically do the mic and drill uh, or a lot of layups, you know, to really start it off. Started off with ball handling 
and you know of course dynamic warm-up and stretching and stuff like that but i'll have more videos like that just going into more depth and talking with y'all and breaking down stuff as far as what i do and what i'm doing i say if you here appreciate you thank you this will be the best uh basketball youtube athletic youtube channel shall i say gonna keep on dropping content keep showing love pressing likes sharing the videos positive comments even if you drop something that ain't positive and you know you just really just talking as long as it ain't really just negative and too crazy you know sure we gonna you know we can have some conversations about the game but at the end of the day knock down these threes i got you doing this 21 total threes on this flat foot is, you know, you miss a few. That don't mean you stop going, you keep shooting. So you in the gym by yourself. You done made it through this time. You putting in that work. You done put into yourself. You know, I got my little man with me. If you got somebody with you that you brought along, you know, you done helped them pour it into theyself as well. And it's a great feeling, you know. So thank yourself, thank God. Oh, see this cash money left, right? Bang. You know, a lot of times on this one, I don't have somewhere else to be after this. I'm not counting them type of shots, so they typically have to be nothing but net. You know, shoot, it might be, I might need them all in a row. Three in a row, nothing but net at each spot. If they ain't nothing but net, I'm not gonna count them. You know? So we just keep rolling, keep working, staying true to it. Pushing ourselves, pushing those around us by pushing ourselves. Last spot right here, I'm at the top. You know you gotta finish strong on these. Uh, this has gotta be in a row. So I talk to myself, we gotta be in a row. Keep getting that work in, keep believing. Oh, it ain't in a row. Keep getting that work in, keep believing in yourself. Keep getting in the gym, putting in that work right there. Uh, Cashing in, last one I believe. Then after this one, we going to free throws. Mm. Mm, now we taking our time. I believe making twenty five free throws. Oh, find that groove. It's a great way to finish your workout. I uh, just had a good twenty minutes, twenty two minutes of work, moving around. Now we relaxing, down, settling in, thanking yourself, you know, thanking God for being able to even wake up and be better today and challenge yourself and take your game, take your mind, take others to another level, you know, mentally and physically. So, you know, when you at the free throw line, you should be relaxed, you know. I say blocking out the, the, the noise at the same time, you're embracing the noise, you know. You don't let the noise bother you. You shouldn't let the noise bother you, you know. Understand you've been here before, and this is something that you do. Stay true to it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment, show some love. I need some positive love. Like I always tell y'all, I give great energy, so I want to receive great energy. Cashing in, I don't believe I'll be missing too many free throws. That's like one of my worst things. To miss free throws and miss easy layups. You know, you're going to miss some. It's just part of the game. And when you do miss it, don't be too hard on yourself. So, you know, but I just, that's something I don't like personally. I hate missing free throws. I hate missing layups. Stay consistent with y'all grind. Stay true. Do this workout today. Matter of fact, do this workout today. Only 25 minutes. 25 minutes and 17 seconds. Probably make more. I was saying if you made more shots than me, it will probably take a little bit longer. But if you make the same amount of shots as me, it probably won't even take you as long either. You probably make your shots faster. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, go watch my other videos, put your notifications on for the video so you can know when I'm coming in with a video. Stay blessed, man. 
Stay believing in yourself. Believe in God. Continue to work hard. Stay true to the game. Appreciate you for making it this far in the video. Continue to show love. Continue to show love to yourself. The grind don't stop. Team Ryan Bennett, respect my grind, man.